don't bother adding so much. I'm gonna go to bed. Oh, okay. Um, I'll go in when you do. Did I do something wrong? No, no. I'm just cold. I'm gonna go to sleep. You coming? Isaac, I'm headed to the store. Do you need anything? Um, nah, I'm good. Are you taking the car, though? Yeah, is that all right? I'll only be out like an hour or so. Yeah, that's fine. I'll see you later. Okay, sounds good. Bye. Reach Drew, leave a message, and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Hey, Drew, it's Maya. Are you home? I really need my computer back, so just let me know when you get this. Okay, bye. Hey, babe. How was the store? It was good. Did you just get out of the shower? Yeah. Um, I forgot to mention, you have a visitor. Hi. Sorry I didn't get your message until I got here. I brought your laptop. Oh, it's all right. Um, you're going to have to come all the way over here just to give it back to me. Ah, don't worry about it. Any excuse to see a best friend, you know? Do you want to go grab a late lunch? I wish. Now that my computer's fixed, I really need to get started on that article for work. Roman's gonna have my ass if I don't have anything done by Monday. Oh God, you still have to deal with that guy? Yeah, he thinks he can tell Maya what she can and can't write. Being a head editor shouldn't give him the right to be a major dick. Ugh, speak of the devil. Hello? Oh, okay. I'll be over as soon as I can. Did he call you in for work again? Of course. His favorite thing to do is to call me in on my day off. Well, I'm meeting up with a friend after work if you want to call me after that for drinks or anything like that. Okay. You leaving too? Oh, yeah. I gotta actually go catch the bus. It was nice seeing you today. You know, if you want, instead of hanging out with Isaac and his friend or whatever, you could come over. I'll be catching up on some reality TV. <laughs> okay, I'll let you know. All right, cool.
better have a good pitch prepared to make up the fact that you haven't submitted anything for this week's article. I promise it's going to be a really good one this time around. Oh yeah? As long as it's not about another mass murder or an epidemic. Okay, before you say no, it's this really interesting story about the serial killer in West Virginia. Look, Maya, you've got one chance left before I move you to entertainment section and make you write shitty reviews about shitty movies made by shitty people for the rest of your shitty little life. I want to help you. I really do. So, feel free to give me a call you know, if you ever need a second opinion or maybe just a little extra inspiration. Okay? God, you still have to deal with that guy? Yeah, he thinks he can tell Maya what she can and can't write. Did I do something? You've got one chance left before I'm leaving too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shitty, just a little bit. It was nice, nice. You've got one chance left. I'm using up with this friend. Don't worry about it. He's an excuse. He's just friend, you know? Shitty, little bit. You've got one chance left. Call me after that for drinks. Yeah, you're shitty. You can tell Maya what she can't write. Don't worry about it. He's an excuse. He's just friend, you know? Shitty, little bit. You've got one chance left. Call me after that for drinks. Yeah, you're shitty. Don't worry about it. Any excuse to see a best friend, you know? I need to see you now. Yes, it's important. Meet me at the alley on 53rd as soon as you can. Okay, I'll see you in 20. Maya? This doesn't look like an alley. What am I doing here? Isaac is cheating on me. Well, who's the bitch he's sleeping with? It's you, Drew. M me? My Maya, no. No, you've got this all wrong. Isaac and I are just friends. He he's your boyfriend. Do you really think I'm that stupid? This morning, his damn phone woke me up. <laughs> At first, I thought he was his friend Jade, but then I saw the text messages you two exchanged with one another. I thought to myself it was nothing. Later that day, I come home to find you both there. I see Isaac making the bed, even though I had already made it that morning, and half naked, straight out of the shower with his hair still wet. <laughs> to my surprise, your hair was just as damp as his. I'm assuming he wasn't the only one in that shower, right? Still, at that point, I wasn't sure about this theory of mine. Not until I saw the way you two looked at each other. The way you said goodbye to each other right in front of me. Like I wouldn't even notice. Right in front of my fucking face. Maya, I won't explain myself when you're like this. I... I can't. 